looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best players at each position in Madden 21, guys. Now, I did this video the uh, decent while back. Uh, I've been getting some comments saying to update the list because it's a little bit outdated now. Of course, that is the case when you are dealing with stuff like this. But you know, it's been about a month, just about maybe a few weeks, three weeks maybe. So I'm going to update it to now because, of course, it's about that time. And then as well, guys, we do have Team of the Year and more stuff coming later this month. So I'll probably do another updated end of January, early February as one of my uh, updated lists on everything. But let's get into the video. You guys do know this could take a little bit because you have to go position by position. Hey, guys, before we get into today's video, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell. Like the video, guys. Like I said, if you guys are fans, you guys support and you watch every video, make sure to smash the like button, guys. It does help a lot. It helps the channel out. And you guys are watching anyway, so might as well show some support with the like. So I'll give you guys a second. Go like the video. Now let's continue. So let's get into this, guys. We start with quarterback. Then with quarterback. Quarterback is a tough position here. So you got to go with two because of archetypes, right? So obviously, Michael Vick is probably the top tier. Now, we aren't in the 98 to 99 range just yet, of course. We are in the 94 to 95 and 96 to 97 now. Josh Allen would have been a really good option had he gotten hot route master, which I believe he does not. Uh, of course, it's Mahomes and a few other guys, but for the time being, we're probably rocking with the two we've been rocking with, with Rich Gannon and Michael Vick. Now, personally, it all comes down. If you guys are a big ability guys, you may want to go Rich Gannon, possibly. Um, you know, AP and all those reasons. But I personally think that Michael Vick's the best option. He gets all the thresholds you're gonna know what you're gonna want. Uh, you power him up, cam him up, of course, and he can run and kill people with his legs as well. I personally love Michael Vick as my go-to option, but if you're going to be a more pocket passer, heavy kind of guy who wants to focus on certain abilities and so on and so forth, Rich Gannon could be your guy as well. But he's a uh, decent enough speed to still be used. Now, halfback. Halfback's interesting because I do think that Bo might keep this thrush uh, this throne for a little bit longer just because of the fact that, of course, we aren't going to be getting... Like, we're getting Team of the Year soon. Now, Team of the Year is going to be a little bit weird considering the fact that they may get, they're going to get modern day running backs and like guys like Chubb won't get more speed. Now it comes down to probably Bo Jackson, Aaron Foster. Now, if you want to compare the two, right? Bo's going to have the threat. Bo's going to have the speed, right? 96 speed, 97 excel, 95 change of direction, 95 break tackle. Those, that's what matters right there. Now, if we go compare it to some other guys like Aaron Foster, I actually, I'm a big Aaron Foster fan in this game. I feel like his Aaron Foster card is super OP. You compare it. Bo has him on speed, right? Bo has him on speed. That's, that's a fact right now. Remember, that is the base one. So let's go find the LTD one instead. So compare. There we go. So Bo has, Bo has been speed by one. We got that. Acceleration, though. Arian Foss and them, I think, are about tied, give or take. So now what it comes down to is going to be agility, change of direction. So he has Bo on change of direction and agility, which is super important this year, and 99 break tackles. So Arian Foster may feel super glitchy, right? Because at the end of the day, now plus one speed is going to be the difference of you know, if you break loose on a run, you may break it with 95 or 96 regardless. But those break tackles, are that's what makes the game, right? That's those key things where in the backfield, you slip a guy or you push someone off, going, you know, rounding an edge. That's where you just bump off someone. Those are those big plays that you make. So that's why break tackle is so important. So I'm leaning here towards Aaron Foster, in my opinion, as the best player at that position. Now, fullback, just like lineman, go find whoever has the best stats for what you need. Wide receiver, Randy Moss, of course, is going to be the one of them. Can't no need to even talk about his stats. Gets all the thresholds, gets the speed, has the height. Uh, you cannot argue him. Of course, we're going down. I'm not really a fan of Jerry Rice, not fast enough. Now, Deshaun Jackson is low key, insane. Of course, not low key, high key. He gets 96 speed, all the route running threshold, all the catching threshold. So, right now, Deshaun Jackson and Randy Moss are in contention for the best two wide receivers. Of course, Deshaun has base 96, Randy Moss has 96 powered up, which is going to be a lot more expensive. But of course, uh, Deshaun Jackson is expensive in his own regard. So, Either way, they're going to be both going to be good. Now, for your third receiver, guys, it comes down to whatever you want. I personally rock with Tyreek Hill. You could go you could go super route runner like Jerry Rice. You could even go Mark Clayton, who's super good. Mark Clayton is really good as well. I wish he had plus one speed on what he has right now, like a 96. But that route running, those catching stats, he's insane. You can go Mark Clayton over Tyreek if you'd like. Uh, Tyreek's going to be a little bit cheaper. Coming out to tight end. Tight end. They've been giving us some really good options right around Christmas. We've got some really great options. Of course, we got Tony G and Jermichael Finley right now. Now, Jermichael Finley was the Madden GOAT early in the year. He has 91 speed, and that is unpowered up, right? So you go on down to the LTD one, which is down here. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. He's going to be at 92 on that one. Now, if we check Tony Gonzalez real quick as a little quick comparison, Tony Gonzalez only gets 
91 speed, but he can be powered up. So they're going to be very similar. It comes down to whichever one you prefer. Now, Jermichael Finley was really good early in the year. So it comes down to, you know, do you like Finley more? Do you like Gonzalez more? Of course, there's Evan Ingram. There's some Waller. There's a few other options, but Jermichael Finley overall is going to have very similar stats. He gets really close to 99 stats, and he will hit a few 99s with play fake. He'll have 99 route running. I think Finley's going to be the best tight end here for that option. Now, of course, we're going to skip the offensive lineman because, like I said, you just pick what you need. Run blocking, go run blocking. Pass blocking, go pass blocking. Well-rounded, go both. And with, at this point in the game, you could probably find both regardless. Left end, Michael Strahan, far and away, is the best left end in the game. Um, you really can't discount what you get with him. You get the speed, you get the excel, you get the strength to tackle, and you get 99 power move and 99 block shit, depending on if you go run stuff or pass rush. So there's just no debate here when it comes to Michael Strahan. It's the reason why he's the price he is. Thank thankfully, the series redux have brought his price down just enough to where he's a little bit more affordable. John Abraham's a, a goat too, right? And he's a master set. John Abraham's insane. 90 speed, 94 excel. He gets the uh, the finesse move to a 99 with pass rush. He gets the block shit he needs. He gets the play rec. And he has insane speed. He gets up to 91 speed, 95 excel. You put him in Shram, both on each side of the line. And you're dominating people, right? Defensive tackle. Now, a lot of people don't use defensive tackle, but again, pretty pretty uh, cut right now. It's, it's going to be Kyle Williams. He's the only one that is a 97 overall, so pretty pretty cut and dry. 81 speed, 80 excel at uh, defensive tackle with 96 block shot, 97 power move. Insane, right? Insane for a defensive tackle, right? We're not talking in general. If you compare him to like Strahan or Abraham, you may not like it, but he's good. Left outside linebacker has not hit this threshold yet, so expect team of the year to break into that threshold and maybe a playoff performer. But left outside linebacker, if you're really looking, I'm a big fan of Ted Hendricks personally. People may like some of the new ones. Uh, if you're coming down to like speed or whatever, I was personally a big fan of this 95 Ted Hendricks because at the end of the day, you're getting it. You're going to get 90 speed powered up, right? At left outside linebacker with 90 block shed. 93 power move and six foot seven and he can play zone ted Hendricks is an all-around beast but if you don't want to go ted Hendricks and you want to go one of the newer ones which i wouldn't understand why i mean i guess maybe speed potentially um it probably come down to one of these guys down here so if you look at matthew judon i personally don't think he's that good speed's too slow i personally don't think that a few of these guys are that good honestly i mean uh darius leonard again he's decent but like before he can't pass rush and the speed's the same, if not worse, than the other guy. So, I, like I said, I would stick to Ted Hendricks. That's personally my pick there. But uh, moving on, let's move on to middle linebacker. Now, again, another position that people really haven't been using. It hasn't been... People haven't been using it this year, right? It's just not a part of the meta because of the whole safety linebackers on animating stuff. Now, middle linebacker, though, you can't go wrong with London Fletcher. You cannot go wrong with London Fletcher. This card is a beast. 91 speed, 92 excel, 95 hit power, 93 block shed, 86 zone. He will have the 90 zone threshold. He will have the hit power you need. He will have the block shed and the play wreck and the tackle and the speed. But he is super tiny at 5 foot 10. So if you're not if you're not feeling the height, you could go Junior Seau. Junior Seau will be very similar. He will be very, very similar. And he will have a 6 foot 3 frame. So if you care about the height, which you probably should, Junior Seau will be your pick. London Fletcher may be a little bit better uh, per se, but Junior Seau is a beast too. And again, you can sacrifice a little bit of speed for that height at the end of the day, especially at middle linebackers who, already, who they already don't animate. Maybe it's best not to play your luck. Uh, Lawrence Taylor, hands down. No debate. This Lawrence Taylor is a beast as well. He has the speed, has the excel, has the power move. Of course, finesse move as well and block shed. And he's six foot three. Lawrence Taylor just, you know, they always, he always plays glitchy. Now, cornerbacks. There's so many options here. The cornerbacks these days. Uh, cornerbacks, we have Troy Vincent again. Wouldn't be my pick as my first. We got Rob Woodson. We got Deion Sanders. We got LeJarius Sneed. We got Richard Sherman. So starting off, guys, Deion Sanders is a must. You always got to have him on your team, regardless of his press, guys. Uh, it will get to 90, I believe, now, so that's fine. You will get the 90 press threshold now, which is exactly what you need. With 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 play rec, I believe. And he will get 97 speed, 97 excel, and he's 6 feet tall with high jumping and high agility. And he can be a kick returner, and he can return the ball. Too much versatility. You got to have Deion in there. Slot him in next. As you guys see... Now, Legereus Sneed and Richard Sherman. Now, Legereus Sneed's going to be my pick here as well. He's insane. You're going to be getting a 96-speed corner with 99 press, 99 zone, and 99-man coverage. Not many corners get all three of those 99, if all, if any. And you're also going to be getting the speed. Now, if play rec does go up by five, I'm not entirely sure. You will get 99 play rec as well. And he's 6'1". He's going to be Deion Sanders, borderline Deion Sanders athletic. Uh, not as much, you know, like a light version. But he will get the straight line speed, he will get the straight line coverage, and he will get crazy, crazy coverage. And you could you could press him. You can press anyone in the game with him, as long as the game's not gonna be, you know, mad and broken, which it can be at times. And now Sherman's iffy. So I don't know how I feel about Sherman yet. Now, I personally think that he has a lot of potential. 
because if you power up and chem him up, you're getting you're getting 94 speed, right? 94 Excel. He's he's two speed short of the other guys, but he will get 99 zone, 99 press, like 97 man. But he's six foot three, and if you guys know anything about Sherman cards, they play good. 97 jumping, he will get 98 jumping, right? That's great. And it, depending on what uh, physical you use, you may even get that to 99 jumping. He may have 99 jumping, 99 zone, 99 press, and he may very well have. And well, he does have a six foot three frame. So if you guys have ever knew Sherman, like at the beginning of the year, you can have Tyree killing him and you burn him and like you burn him by like a foot and you throw it and Sherman can go up and sometimes still pick it. You have a guy by like, you know, five feet, you beat him off the line. Sherman can go up and pick it. That height can be a difference. Depending on the scheme you play, he could be worth it. Like if you play a straight zone scheme, I think Sherman is one of the best cornerbacks in the game, right? Because if you play zone, the speed won't matter as much. But if you're a man heavy scheme, you may feel a little bit more. Maybe put him on the slowest receiver. But at this point in the year, um, slowest receiver is still like 95, 96 on um, most teams. So I don't know exactly the route to take there. But again, Sherman is a he is a uh, dark horse there. If you happen to play the right scheme for him, he could play probably as one of the best corners in one of those schemes. Next, we got free safety. Free safety. Eric Weddle is low key a beast as well. Like in past years, see, the thing is, I've been playing Madden for a while. So when I say a guy like Eric Weddle, I assume slow old safety. But this is a legend version. He looks a lot like Keenan Allen in that bottom picture. This is a legend version. So he's going to have his speed. 94 speed's great. 94 excel is great. 96 zone's great. 90 hit power. Now, if we compare him to some of the lower guys, right? If you're going pure speed and height, or, you know, in that aspect, you want to take it down to the over here somewhere. And you want to check out what you have here because we have a few guys here who are pretty good. Now, come on down to Calvin. Like, if you just want the height, that's really all you care about. You can go take Calvin. You're going to lose some speed, but you get the six foot five frame. It, like, again, if you play in a zone scheme, you may not even care. But Calvin versus Eric Weddle would be just a speed debate. Uh, not a speed debate, a uh, height debate. And then, if you want that, Sean Taylor. You take the same speed as uh, Eric Weddle because you're going to power him up. You get that 95 power, 93 zone. Like I said, I would probably rock with Eric Weddle. I'd play it safe, take the high overall, rock with it. You're able to get a 95 overall player, or no, sorry, 96 overall player, or 97 depending. And 97 is practically end game at that point. And he's going to get the speed. He's going to get better zone the most with every threshold they're going to want. 5'11 though, so if height's a big deal to you there, you're going to have to stay clear of Eric Weddle. But otherwise, I like him for the spot. And then strong safety. Strong safety, we're waiting for a few more upgrades here because of course we don't have any 96, 97s. So you got to take it down now. Of course, you could rock one of those other ones. I'm a big guy. I'm a big fan of Isaiah Simmons. I think Isaiah Simmons is the move here, regardless of what you uh, what you prefer. You really can't go wrong with a 95 speed safety, 94 excel, 89 man, 95 zone, 95 hit power. He will have 99 zone power, uh, zone coverage. He will have 95 hit power, and he will have a six foot four frame. You just can't. You can't debate that. He's six foot four. Put him at linebacker. User him. Put him at uh, big nickel. Put him at uh, you know the nickel corner. User him. Put him deep, deep safety. User him. Put him any of those places and don't user him. He's going to be a monster. I love Isaiah Simmons. He's one of the only guys this year with his rookie in this one that can outlast their value. Like he can be on your team for quite a while and still make an impact. But guys, that pretty much does wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, I know people might comment about punters and kickers. Uh, get the one with the high kick power. That usually works. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what's going on. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Smash the like button. Mutt reserve, 30% off. Peace.